What's up Mopar fam? I hope everybody's having a blessed day out there. As you can see, we have a huge white box right here from Holly. This is a new modification that's going on Project Storm, the 2012 Torque Storm Boosted Daily Driver Project. And this is gonna be awesome. So stay tuned, we're about to unbox it. Mopar fam, let's get this box opened up and see what we have for Project Storm. Looks like we have a couple boxes inside of a box. She's stuck! Any guesses what could be in these two boxes? And we have another box. And got a set of fuel rails, Holly EFI, some Holly paperwork. Got some hardware right there. And I'm gonna have to say it must go to this Holly High Ram Manifold. Oh yeah. We're gonna get the plastic off of this girl. Oh yeah, there she is, boys and girls. Holly, high ram manifold for the third gen Hemi. And this is gonna be going on the 5.7 that's in Project Storm. Now, a lot of you guys already know we have one on uh, Frostbite and that manifold has been doing us absolutely great. We picked up a huge gain with that manifold in the quarter mile and it definitely loves the boosted setups. So we can't wait to get this on Project Storm and get rid of the hideous plastic stock manifold. This is gonna look awesome. Let's get this box open. Got a warranty card in here. And this is gonna be the top for said Holly High Ram. Oh yeah, that is absolutely huge. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Look at that, there we go. Dropping her down. That is gonna be some sexy Hemi jewelry right there boys and girls then it looks like we have a spacer plate right here for the front and a couple of gaskets we're gonna leave that in the package so before we continue I just want to give Holly a huge thanks for getting this manifold sent out to us so that we can do the unboxing on the channel and get this thing on Project Storm as it's gonna help us pick up a tremendous gain I believe for that truck and it's gonna look awesome. So we're gonna get the camera over here. We're gonna kind of go over the manifold a little bit better in detail. And also, I'm gonna open up one of these fuel rails. And you can see how slick those things look. Man, they look great. 
Holly EFI fuel rail, very clean, machined very good. And these are the same ones that's on Frostbite. And they work great with the Holly High Ram and the Hemis. And they are just, this is just, this is the way to go. Um, as you've seen, you know, a lot of people used to do the 6-4 manifold swap. Um, and a lot of those people are starting to ditch those and go to the Holly High Rams because they're starting to see that they work. And uh, yeah. Now on a Ram truck, these manifolds fit perfectly. There's plenty of hood clearance. You don't have to change anything. Um, you just have to plumb up a few things a little bit differently than the stock manifold, of course. But on the Ram trucks, this is basically a drop-in deal and fits like a glove. You don't have to cut or trim anything. It fits nice. Now, if you have a car, that's gonna be a little bit different story. They don't have the hood clearance like the Rams do. Um, so you may have to go with a shorter version or you're gonna to have to get you probably a cow hood. Other than that, they would fit and they would work fine, but you're gonna to have to check into your hood clearance on the car applications. But if you're a Ram truck guy, this thing drops right in, fits like a glove. All right, Mopar fam, so we have the Holly High Ram right here. And we're just kind of get the camera in here real close so you guys can really get a detailed idea of what this thing looks like. Man, these things, these things are jam up for the money. And for the performance, you cannot beat it. Absolutely huge, huge game changer for the Hemis. Not only in power and performance gain wise, but the appearance that they give on a Hemi is just insane. You could have a bone stock Hemi, take the plastic stock manifold off your Hemi, throw on one of these Holly High Rams, and instantly make your Hemi look like you just got a $20,000 crate motor. It is insane how cool these manifolds look. And that is one of my favorite things about them is they just look absolutely awesome. Look at this. We put the oil cap in right here. Awesome. Now, for the fuel rails, you got two mounting locations. So you got two different heights here. You can, depending on how tall or short your injectors are. Um, so they work pretty much with any injector combination that you got. Um, they supply you with all the mounting hardware. So the studs, bolts, nuts, everything to mount this thing onto your Hemi is in the box. Uh, the gaskets for the lid, which is an O-ring that actually fits around here. It's supplied. There's instructions. And just look at how awesome and big these ports and runners are on these manifolds. It is insane huge huge tremendous amount of airflow that's going to go through these manifolds here's the underside machined very well again the one on frostbite's been working awesome no problems no leaks nothing it has been an awesome manifold the other thing with these holly high rams is all the different accessories that's out there for them now you have intercoolers that can be sandwiched between the lower and upper top. So you can have a air to water intercooler in between here. They have nitrous plates that can fit underneath there and basically acts exactly like a direct port system. They got water meth plates that can fit in there. The options are endless for these manifolds. There's just so many things you can do with these manifolds, it's insane. Not only are they awesome for nitrous and boosted people, there's been a lot of NA guys going to these manifolds lately because they work. Um, they really do work and they love the upper high RPM band. And when you start pairing that with a big cam, this is the way to go. Now. On the back, you have a bunch of different ports here. All right, so on the back here, this is the this would be the rear 
of the manifold that would be towards the firewall. A handful of different tapped accessory ports here um, where you can run, say, brake booster line, um, IET sensor, um, your map sensor, which um, honestly, it goes right here. And that's where I have frostbites is right here in this location. This would be for your map sensor. Um, but this is where most of your stuff that you're going to plumb is going to go on the back of the manifold. Um, that's how I did it on frostbite. Now, <clears throat> there is a few other things you're going to need to fit this onto your Ram truck um, or your car if you're doing that. Stay tuned for the next video um, as we are going to basically assemble this manifold and get it plumbed and ready to be dropped onto the truck and ready to go. Um, and that video is going to include what part numbers you need um, to add to the manifold to get it ready to replace the stock plastic piece of trash. Um, but just real quick, you're going to need a crossover line here to tie the two uh, fuel rails together. You're going to need a couple of plugs. Um, you're going to need a couple of uh, AN fittings to make it work. And then you're going to need on this side, if you're still using a ram with a stock fuel system, um, you're going to need a special fitting to go on the back of this fuel rail that's going to be here on this side to be able to plug your stock fuel line onto the fuel rail. So again, stay tuned for video two, and that's going to be us assembling this manifold and showing all the other parts you're going to need to get this thing ready to be dropped onto your ram. So this is part number 300-658 right here this manifold now they have different variations of this manifold depending on what throttle body and uh, top hat you want to run vice versa but this part number is basically for the guy that wants to run his stock throttle body um, and or a 95 millimeter uh, standard Hellcat throttle body works also but this one, you can take the throttle body that's on your Hemi now if you got the stock one, which I'm still running the stock throttle body that's on Frostbite currently, still using it. This manifold accepts your stock throttle body. You don't have to change that. It bolts right on. As you can see the extra holes here to be able to accept that. And then you got your gaskets here and the spacer adapter plate right here. So... Just wanted to throw that in real quick. There you go, Mopar fam. That's the unboxing of the new Holly High Ram manifold that we're putting on Project Storm. So again, stay tuned for video two. Um, we're gonna do the whole plumbing and all the fittings and parts and knickknacks that we need to make this manifold drop right on to the Ram. And then next video after that will obviously be the install of it. And then we're gonna have a couple other changes as well. Project Storm, after this gets done, will be running an intercooler setup. So stay tuned for that as we're going to be adding an intercooler to it. Um, as well, Frostbite will be going under the knife. We've got a lot of changes happening to Frostbite at the same time this is going down. So we're kind of messing with both trucks. At the same time, we're changing them up a lot. So stay tuned. A couple more videos coming for the Holly High Ram. So again, I want to thank Holly. For getting this thing sent out to us so quick we ordered it and got it within a couple of days and also it's nice to have cool parts like this for the Mopar community so again thumbs up Holly for helping us out as always y'all stay safe out there don't forget hit that subscribe button give the video a thumbs up comment down below what you think about the manifold and take your best guess on what we're doing to frostbite so stay tuned. We'll see you on the next one.